I think this is an absolutely fascinating and, and, and exciting area of research. And I think that's as well one of the reasons why I am uh, busy in synthesis and creation and the generation of, of new materials. You, you're constantly on this discovery path and you constantly see new things, sometimes very puzzling, sometimes, uh, sometimes almost expected, but always exciting. Our, our research is a bit at the borderline of inorganic chemistry. We're trying to cross borders to more organic chemistry, but as well to biochemistry. Uh, we're very much looking at catalysts, um, at designing and developing new catalysts. We have in our field a groundbreaking impact. We have contributed significantly to the development of this area. Many groups are currently taking up our own research um, areas or our own research lines. And, uh, pr um, and promoting this further. So there is a huge echo on our research and we're very happy. It, or it is perhaps an illusion that we as a single researcher would contribute on our own to a better economic, a better societal life. Um, I think it's our contribution that would help eventually to build a package that will make our life easier. I think nowadays we need the coherence, we need the, the the joint effort of many researchers from different fields to make a, a valuable contribution. It's the old discoverer dream to make something useful and I think we're all a bit driven for making ourselves useful. Not all of our research can obviously lead to a straight delivery at the end of the day. I think research has to be discovery driven and discovery by definition means that you have a few aspects that will lead to nowhere, a few um, pathways that will lead to the summits and it's the summits that will be. You, you do it for the summits but you learn an awful lot on the paths that go to nowhere. <laughs>